But all we need to charge is a is a plug because we can plug in our electric car into anything. But we're forced to use these uh, charging stations, which uh, force us to actually bypass them to make them make the charging station actually run just an ordinary plug. So here we see the Avcon connector, and the wire goes through here and then up into here, and then there's our conversion device down there, and then goes all the way back to our conductive charger here, which is now running. That's what we're charging at. Ample motion. And here's a bunch of, well, here's a hydrogen thing. That's an ox. It's a, it's an equinox. <laughs> what does it weigh? About 8,000 pounds? Here's Paul Scott's vehicle, sun powered. And that's one that belongs to, it's not, doesn't even have a license plate on it, Santa Monica. This one is electric custom cars. So is this your fuel cell car? Right. Uh -huh. This is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. And how many horsepower does it have? Kilowatts? Um, it has uh, 72 kilowatts. 72 kilowatts? Mm -hmm. How big is the battery? The battery, uh, it's about one cubic foot, two. I mean, how many, how many kilowatt hours in the battery? Oh, um, the battery, you know, I'm, I'm not sure on the on the battery of the vehicle. Yes, I wouldn't be able to give Is you it that. lithium? It's a, I believe it's a nickel metal hydride battery. Nickel metal hydride battery. So it's about a cubic foot, so it's probably about two kilowatt hours. That's what you need for acceleration and for regenerative braking, right? Right. And how big is the is the fuel cell? Um, the, the fuel cell is about three cubic foot. No, but I mean, how many it's kilowatts does it put out? Kilowatts, 72 kilowatts. So it'll put out the same as the engine will take, the motor will take. Uh -huh. Okay, how long does it last? How many years? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure on, on the on the fuel cell. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, again, I, I've worked with the fuel cell partnership, but to get the exact figures of the vehicle, I would recommend talking to one of the engineers from uh, from Daimler, and they would be able to give you a... Daimler made this? Mm -hmm. This is a Mercedes A-Class. Yeah, I heard that the fuel cell only lasts three years, and then you have to buy another one. And they cost $300,000. So it's a big sham, really. Um, the the, the goal right now is to get the cost down on the fuel cell and also to increase the durability of the... Um, How are you going to get the cost down when it's made out of platinum, which is $2,000 an ounce? Right, and so the, one, the, one of our uh, key goals is trying to get that platinum out and replacing it with a different uh, material. Palladium is just as expensive, so is iridium. Mm -hmm. And so I, I believe, you know, right now, um, you know, MIT has just come out with an organic material, for, not for PEM fuel cells, but... I believe a uh, stationary fuel cell. So you know, we're we're working on different materials, an organic material or some other material yeah. to replace it. See, the the problem is that you know the the carbon from the atmosphere is used is in the oxygen, and that ruins the fuel cell. Mm -hmm. And so, if you unless you carry um, technical grade oxygen as well as technical grade hydrogen, you know you can't stop the fuel cell from degrading. So why not just use batteries? Um, and you've already got a battery on here, nickel metal hydride. Why not just put more batteries in? Um, yeah, I would have to uh, forward you to somebody with a little more uh, battery knowledge. And uh, we actually have a booth inside, and um, yeah. yeah, I would recommend talking to you. Thank you very much.